crap. Got a Midland Railway single wheeler here. Single wheel. Hi there, John. It's the uh, cap of that uh, single. Mm -hmm. and WR tank. Probably one of the ones that used to work down uh, Brighton way. Got a little, you all right? GNR tank here. One, two, four, seven. Oh, I'm going to sort my bloody shoe out. This one for the next two. Class 87. One of, uh, I believe, three left in the country. Uh, 87001, 87002, Royal Sovereign, 001, Royal Scott, and uh, 035, Robbie Burns. There's probably more in the country. They're the only three that uh, I'm aware of. But soon, uh, 002 will leave us forever through the summer period. Is uh, 2F? Here's this. BR2F. Uh, 65243 Maud. I believe uh, this one's from the uh, Kiwi and Worth Valley Railway. 060. Uh, in design. There's the, uh, the cab right there. Nice. So a few things over here. We've got... Who um, says that? 4464? Looks like it's in there with a blue tug. Another blue tug here with... Um, still got a bit of tang mirror on me. Oh, great western tank, a few buses over there, there's some up over the back there. There's a little pannier here. But you can probably see the, uh, the uh, Simonus Poulos uh, in his natural state. Here's a 737. Yes, the ENGCR logo. Hardwood could be near somewhere. The two are never uh, too far away from each other. I think Bahamas is on the turntable here. Four four zero, big impressive locomotive. This way. Well, you hate to be the trainer that had to clean up all that shit. Uh, not the original, but uh, Stevenson's rocket is uh, here, along with its uh, very tall chimney. Oh, I'm getting dizzy, getting, getting dizzy, getting dizzy, getting dizzy, I'm getting dizzy. Because we'll there were a couple here at the same time. We've got a uh, passenger 242 uh, Lancashire and Yorkshire railway tank here, number 1008. Over in uh, Horwich, over here though, is um, 
NRM's 47, Prince William. Usually seen, seen on some rail tours last year. They were. As if you were like outside. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, not too bad. Share about my view of it though. Cool. <laughs> well, there she is again, in bits and pieces. The Flying Scotsman. Just for the record, bullying this local is not fun. No form of bullying is fun. Uh, if you do not like my views on bullying, then I'm afraid you can go kiss my ass, because I won't stand for bullies or bullying anything or anyone. So let's have a look what's wrong with the Scotsman. Uh, well, she's got her smoke box open, so there's obviously a problem inside the smoke box. One of the cylinders is stripped, so she's got a problem there. Got no coupling rods on the wheels. Useful. Uh, no cab. No cab is useful. And the tender looks cockeyed. So all in all, a lot of work has got to be done yet again on one of the most historic locos in the world. Here's why we've come to the National Railway Museum. Uh, one of the two A4s for Mal's 75th birthday is here. Uh, 6008 Dwight D. Eisenhower. It is now being restored into its old condition. Its sister that was brought over, Dominion Canada, is in the process of being restored over at Shildon by uh, some of our good friends up there. Hopefully, all of them will be present and correct for Mallard's birthday. And speaking of uh, the record breaker, here she is, she's side by side with her sister, Dwight D. Eisenhower. 126 miles per hour out of this thing at one point. A feat that will probably never be achieved again by a steam engine. I know Tornado wanted to go, uh, the owner of Tornado want to take her to 100. So they get a hundred out of Tornado. That's going to be pushing the boundaries of what she's uh, capable of. <sighs> Hello again, old girl. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Taking the pride of place inside of the National Railway Museum. Uh, 3440, 3440, 3717, the city of Truro. Uh, the since retired city of Truro. Uh, it's incredible. They found one little fault with her and uh, then did the extensive test and found it was uh, irreparable. One day, old girl. One day. Whoa! Careful. Careful. We almost died going under the Q1. But, uh, I actually think I've done myself an injury here. Just get up underneath the, uh, the Q class. Oh, 
That's an oil too. That's broke. That's uh, broken. That's disconnected. Side of the uh, cube glass. There we go. The remnants of a sister loco Tangmere still on the camera. Absolutely incredible. Here we are with this uh, Chinese thing again, and uh, it's still amazing me, this Chinese loco. How huge it actually is. I mean, I can get vertigo off how high that bloody thing is. It is an absolute monster. couple of diesels next to each other. We got, well, it's actually a diesel electric, I should say. Class 26, 26020. All the residents here at uh, your Double uh, pantographed, like uh, 91114 is at the moment. And then just on the other side here, we have a Class 31 gargoyle, 31018. And again, that looks, uh, that's been here a while. One of the uh, national uh, collection. Wonder if this is ever, we'll ever see a thing again. Would be nice. Yeah. Here is the uh, monstrosity. I mean, look at that, it's so big, you can fit a human in there. <laughs> that gap. This thing is a monster. Well, I thought the Chinese thing was a, a monster, but Evening Star's gonna run it pretty close. Okay, the Chinese local may be a little bit. But, uh, the old star, as they say. Will she ever see light of day again? Will she ever turn a wheel again? So here's a uh, element lines. I've moved her around to one of the uh, closer positions. This is the uh, the inside of the uh, merchant navy. As you can see, this is what uh, merchant navy looked like on the outside. But they're good. I was just there on the inside. Still a bit ugly. Ding, 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 ding. Here's the king. And now they've moved uh, things out of the way. I've got a good picture of a full length as well, which is brilliant. But uh, no, King George, as much as uh, people would love to see this one return to the main line, unfortunately it's a uh, no go. The damage is just too good on the inside, so. She'll be on permanent static, but uh, like I said, one day maybe she will, but very doubtful. Oh, over here we've got a uh, little prairie. Forgot about the uh, little double fairly, fairly's painting. Livingston Thompson used to be on the uh, Festiniog. but uh, now on display here at the uh, Royal Museum. Big LMS 4P here, 2500 has uh, made a way out from the uh, closing into the uh, main part of the museum. A couple more locos here, furnace number three, 
Uh, I hate anything that's to do with a furnace. So as far as I'm concerned, speed through this, speed through, speed through, another Z, another Z, another Z, rubbish. Right, let's go on to uh, the NER goods tender, 12.75. I believe the sun's out, the sun won't be out tomorrow. <laughs> it's a good little loco this. Most of the stuff here, I mean, you haven't seen the Duchess of Hamilton yet, she's up at Shildon. Most of the stuff actually went up to Shildon, I think they're making way for Mallard's uh, celebration. Is that uh, North Staff Steedle Shunter thingy? That's still here. If they burnt this place to the ground, that'd still be here. Look like a bad penny, isn't it? A uh, shunter for the LMS. I mean, instantly tell you, I mean, that one's got uh, two wheels as well. But uh, got enough one there to make six, sort of. Incredible. And we're going to end this uh, video on the old uh, Japanese bullet. Yeah, one of the older style Japanese bullet trains from Japan. Love to film in Japan. But I can't speak the language.